Natural Landscaping Trail. Stop four, urban tree management. Trees can be managed just as other species are managed. Trees need carbon dioxide, water, sunlight, oxygen, and minerals. They use sunlight and carbon dioxide from the air along with water the roots remove from soil to produce oxygen and starch, their food, through the process of photosynthesis. Starch is stored in the roots. Excess oxygen produced is released into the air. When we take away an element that is essential to survival of an organism, it will die. So if we remove sunlight, there will be no photosynthesis. If we reduce the amount of water or carbon dioxide that a tree receives, the amount of photosynthesis will decline. We can assume that if there is less photosynthesis, there will be less oxygen in the air and less starch for the tree to feed itself during the winter. Stand facing the post. Now look to your immediate right. A large oak tree once grew here. It was removed in 2011. Why? The tree was growing here long before the Illinois Department of Natural Resources headquarters was built. As construction progressed on the IDNR headquarters in the late 1990s, contrary to recommended tree protection standards, half of the tree's roots were covered with several feet of soil, making it hard for rainwater to penetrate to the roots. The roots became ineffective. The amount of water taken in by the tree was 50% less than before construction, resulting in 50% less food produced and stored by the tree. Fewer buds, branches, and leaves emerged. As leaf production declined, the amount of starches produced for food declined. This cycle continued for years until the tree could no longer survive. The tree became stressed and subject to attacks from insects and diseases. The acorn weevil population grew during this time. Within 10 years, this tree disappeared from the landscape. Professional foresters have observed this phenomenon for decades. Many communities have put tree and forest preservation strategies in place to stop this unfortunate loss of trees. The Illinois Urban Manual at this website has standards that can be implemented on construction sites to help protect trees. The most important element is to keep all construction activity outside the drip line of the tree, the farthest reach of the branches. Trees face many perils in their lives. Construction damage is just one bad practice that can harm a tree. Natural elements such as fire, insects, disease, and temperature extremes can also cause problems. Face the signpost again. Now turn to your left and you will see a large ash tree near the sidewalk that has been transformed into a chainsaw sculpture featuring Smoky Bear and the invasive emerald ash borer insect. This sculpture, created in 2014, is a tribute to Smokey Bear's 70th birthday. It reminds us that only you can prevent wildfires. The side of this tree facing the building is a kiosk of information about the emerald ash borer. It includes information on how to identify an ash tree and the signs of an emerald ash borer infestation. While this tree was dying from native ash borer and other insects, its decline and development as a chainsaw sculpture has given a new life to a dying tree and has become a beacon for education. For more information about trees and urban forestry, visit this website. You are now ready to move to the next stop on the trail.